my favourite open title sequence is Superbad. This is mainly due to the way the sequence is constructed and represented. It is pretty much abstract, which is usually good as it doesn't give much away about the film. Furthermore, it changes traditional format, which is very interesting. This is all down to conventions. Can you click on that, please? <coughs> Superbad was made in 2007 and it's an American comedy film which is directed by Greg Mottola and starring Joanna Hill and Ma Michael Kera who are known for being in comedy films which connotes to the audience what sort of film is going to be presented. The film was written by big comedy star Seth Rogen and Ivan Goldberg who both began in beginning writing at the age of 13 so this this is really personal to them the film's main characters have the same given names as Rogan and, and Goldberg being Seth and Ivan can you go to this <laughs> Superbad are to dis distributed and produced by Columbia Pictures who are famous for distributing and producing blockbuster films such as Spider-Man, Rocky Balboa, 2012 and many more. They are widely known for their comedy films as well. Superbad took a traditional format of Columbia Pictures and turned it into their own style. A flicker effect has been also used to give the sequence a brilliant effect which is naturally what naturally happened in the past with the films. This relates to the era of the, f um, the title sequences trying to portray. Furthermore, there was a movement in logo as you saw in the video as it zooms in on the torch which in the norm in normally that doesn't happen. The symbolic codes from the colours used in the sequence such as green, yellow, blue are very colourful and bright colours which associate with the era of the 70s, which could connote the film might be set in. This also connotes that the film is going to be a comedy due to the colours which um, show lack of seriousness. There is a collaboration of both actors and the most important people involved. The font size if, uh, is isn't it's supposed to say, isn't very big and bold which could connote they don't want you to focus on the actor's name but the action behind but the actor's name still stand out because of the colours used so you know who the actors are going to be where the text is positioned varies so it's not in one position it is it varies as you can see there 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 it, it varies the transition used are very quick, snappy, which are synchronous to the music. 
which is also known as funk music, which associates to the era this film is trying to film title sequence is trying to put portray. A wipe effects was also used for the transition from the the new Columbia Pictures logo to the old. A flicker effect has also been used to give the sequence a brilliant effect, which just naturally happened in the past movies mentioned before. A silhouette effect is also used, which doesn't give much away about what the characters look like, as it's only given an outline of what they look like. Next from seeing from seeing the editing of the Columbia Pictures logo and the fact that that is Columbia Pictures, the audience will automatically have an idea of the genre being comedy, due to you seeing the title side sequence dancing, fun and enjoyment, very comedic. However, so many com comedies are very high certificated, usually around fifteen, which is the film is. So the film is aimed at young adults and over who want to laugh. This film does contain sex, nudity, violence. So, um, so it's not for young viewers. With actors such as Seth Rogen involved, who starred in um, comedies such as Knocked Up, which had a lot of sexual scenes involved, the audience are automatically alerted.